Guess what, everybody? Guess what, all friends? Guess what? We have a new camcorder. And Phil's mother and father went all the way to Dwaynesburg to pick it up. We got it through a marketplace, right, mm -hmm. Phil? Yep. And uh, it's a JVC, of course. Uh, it's an, a Vario. And it's a little bit higher class than the uh, uh, camera that we do the uh, journal on. Oh, yes. But, of course, it doesn't make me look any better. <laughs> now, uh, Phil, you and I made a grand program about the shopping that uh, we had done for vegan foods. And you know what, folks? I've only been in this business 78 years. Uh, I didn't turn on the record button. That was on me. I thought you were singing, singing the theme song. <laughs> <laughs> now, Phil, what were some of the exciting things? One was to foodie... Uh... Cream cheese. Yes, tell me about it. Uh, well, that's been, Tofuti's been a, a, a name in the game for quite a while. Uh, Mince the Prince of Tofu, as he goes by, uh, started the company years ago, back in the 80s, I think. And he wanted to bring plant-based vegan products to people who didn't often have the option. So a lot of them were traditional dairy products that he now made vegan. Yes, he did a lot of uh, Jewish uh, lunches. And they uh, are very good about not eating uh, some animal products. And so he was ingenious enough to find a substitute for dairy. Mm -hmm. And he called it what? Uh, tofuti. tofuti. Yep. And it's delicious. His Tofuti ice cream is delicious. What is, are his other Tofuti products? I know he's made pizza. He's made, uh, they still carry uh, some of their sliced cheese at ShopRite in East Greenbush. Um, they have a whole line of dairy substitute products. I believe they have a kefir even, which I've never had a regular kefir, but a vegan kefir sounds great. Well, Phil, am I right that uh, uh, Hannaford's doesn't carry Tofuti? I haven't seen it, no. Um, some of the Hannaford's in the urban areas, the urban core, um, and that are larger might, but um, usually you'd find it at uh, Marketplace 32. And am I right that Walmart doesn't carry it? Walmart does not, no. Yeah. All right, what were some of the exciting other products that we did in video? We found a Daya cheesecake. Oh, tell me about that. Well, uh, for years, people knew Daya as the company that makes the vegan cheese, the first vegan cheese that really got vegan pizza out there. Because honestly, that's what vegans missed. We missed pizza. And we missed cheese that melted and stretched. Um, I remember, and Glendora, you probably remember too, where you get a pizza and it still jiggled because the cheese hadn't congealed yet. <laughs> yes, yes. And Daya was a game changer. and. They're still making a lot of really great products and expanding their line, but Walmart carries two really great products. Really? The, the, the and I remember steak. them as being very good. And Phil, what flavors do they have? At Walmart, they only had the, uh, the plain New York style cheesecake, but I know they've had a chocolate and a strawberry and I believe a mint one as well. Phil, do you remember uh, Amy's Pizza, No Cheese Pizza, it was called? Mm-hmm. And it had three vegetables, and it was delicious. Do you remember that one? I remember those, yeah. The frozen pizzas, right? And what else did you bring us that day as we, the pocketbook gets thinner? We brought you a vegan pizza from Daya. They made a vegan frozen pizza. Oh. Yeah. Um, at Walmart, they are relatively cheap. They're in line with a regular frozen pizza price. And... They're completely vegan and gluten-free. So if you can't have gluten, if you have celiac or some other issue, you can eat them as well. Oh, good. Would you put the camera on pause, please? And would you go over to my freezer in the Happy House 3? And would you bring over some of the products? And I'll show them on TV. Yes. And folks, I've got to put on my gloves just the way they do. In so what is this? That is a Beyond Burger. It's one left. Uh, the other one you had the other day, and you said it was delicious. Yes, it is. And that's Beyond Burger. Mm -hmm. And uh, is this the one that's always in the meat case? Yes, this is uh, unique for a vegan product because normally they're in the vegetarian section. 
but Beyond and a lot of the other brands now are demanding that they are put in the meat section so that people who do eat meat can see and, them as an alternative. And do all of your stores carry it, Bill? At this point, yeah, most of the stores are carrying it. It's uh, one that you find in restaurants. So people eat it at a restaurant and they want to take one home. So that, uh-huh. Yeah. Does Price Shopper carry it? Oh, yes. And uh, Hannaford? Mm-hmm. And Walmart? Walmart even sells them in large containers. Really? Yep, for cookouts. Really, Phil? Mm -hmm. Now, let me find another one here. What am I looking at now? This is Morningstar Farm Vegan Cheeseburger. A have I got it upside down? Oh, you had it perfect. And what is it called? Morningstar Farms Vegan Cheeseburger. Oh, oh it's a cheeseburger. Yep. And it is a, a, a faux meat patty with bits of vegan cheese put into it so that as you cook it, it melts. Well, I think it's very good. Mm -hmm. Do you? Oh, yes. And the food pantry was giving them out, too, so that is fantastic. The food pantry is giving out vegan cheeseburgers, folks. Mm -hmm. What have I do? What do I have here? That there is Beyond Meat, uh, ground beef style. Uh, ground beef? Yeah. Sure. And it is just, you'd use it as you would any other ground beef product, and it cooks just like it as well. So there's no new traditions to learn. And the flavor's good, Phil? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. And here we have two pizzas. Oh, wait, two pizzas. Tell yep. me if I got it upside down or... Um, there you go. Perfect. This is one of the diet gluten-free pizzas. It's a meatless pepperoni. It's gluten-free? Mm-hmm. Oh, goody, then you it. can eat it with me? Oh, yes. They are delicious. And What's the flavor, Phil? It's pepperoni, and it uses diet cheese. And it's vegan? Oh, yes. All vegan. And then this one here is the... There you go. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you that man. is the diet gluten-free uh, Supreme Pizza. So it's got... Now what would that mean, Supreme, dear? It's meatless Italian sausage, mushrooms, and bell peppers. Oh boy. Mm. Oh boy. They are delicious. And what kind of cheese? I believe it uses a mozzarella, and I think it uses a cheddar blend on this one as well. Yeah. If I remember. They're all delicious, and Walmart sells so many of them. They have a huge case full of them. Do they? Oh yes. I think you intimated to me once that you thought Walmart had the biggest supply of vegan foods. Oh, yes. They it, do? It is. They, Beyond it, a question? They have several sections with vegan foods now. Beyond a question, Oh, yeah. Though? Yeah. I remember when it used to be in the produce section, you'd find the little vegetarian meats. Now, mm -hmm. that is one small area. And you'll find the vegan cheese there, too. But you're I never also going to go. That. Yeah, you're going to go to the, the vegetarian food section, which just keeps expanding and expanding down the bread aisle in the freezer section, and then also in the meat case, they have a vegetarian and vegan section. Good for you, Walmart. Yes. I uh, have a lot of good things to say about Walmart. Number one, they keep their store so clean. They have somebody going around all day long with a dustpan and, and a broom. Uh, I That their shelves are so beautifully stacked, and uh, that their prices are better and that they're very friendly and customer service comes first. So I have a lot of good things to say about Walmart. And I know people, honey, who have worked at Walmart for 25 years. So that says a lot of good things about them. Now, are there any more in the freezer do you want to show us? We, we were mostly cleaned out of the freezer, but we do have an extra bag here we could show. This is the Impossible Chicken Nuggets. Oh, yes. And we just had those yesterday. Oh, these are these are good. There's no question about them, Phil. Have I got it right? Uh, rotate it. Uh, other way, other axis. There you go. Oh, that way. Sorry about that. It's a good thing I had long arms. <laughs> uh, <laughs> several McDonald's restaurants have sold them in a he test He does, run. folks, and he has long legs. He's <laughs> six foot five inches. <laughs> Um, yeah, these were designed uh, to replicate the iconic McDonald's nugget, which f created the chicken nugget. Yeah. And um, unfortunately, there's a lot of bad things in a chicken nugget, including 
chicken. We shouldn't have to put animals in our food. Well, now, uh, Phil, Eddie, would you say that we made good for our mistake of two or three weeks ago? Oh, yes. We have. Oh, yes. All and, right, folks. And now it's in high definition. <laughs> and is your digestion in high definition, oh, too? Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, now, this is a chat with Gondor, and we are doing Soul to Soul. Then we have something else to tell you a little later. Phil, would you uh, give us a pause? Mm-hmm. Folks, do you like deep fry? Uh, this is, uh, is it Worthington Foods or Loma Linda, Phil? Um, Worthington and Loma Linda, I guess, is the sub-brand. And what's it called? Tender Bits? Tender Bits. And it is like pork. Mm -hmm. It's very, very much like pork. It looks like pork and the texture is like pork. And do I have a picture of it, Phil, to them? Yeah, you, you've been keep rotating. Going. You keep rotate, rotating, Vanna. Tell me when. <laughs> a little more. A little more. And stop. There we go. And here's how you fix them, folks. You take one dish and you put your tender bits in that dish. And uh, they are a little bit wet. This is good. Just a little bit wet. Now you have another dish, and you put your flavored Italian breadcrumbs in that dish. And over onto the stove, folks, you have your pot of oil. Uh, really, really hot. Hold it just a second, please. Hello. Hey, Glendora. It's Grady. Oh. Hey, guys. How's it going? Good for you, Grady. Tell me... Uh, you're uh, doing editing and shooting, right? Yeah. Mm hmm yeah. And uh, how, are, how is our right. network of 20 TV stations that you're supplying? They're doing good. They're, uh, they're all happy. Oh, and, good. Uh, everybody's, everybody's got what they need. He has some very, very big TV stations. Folks. Yeah. Uh, one of them serves about 10 other TV stations, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, Bob Clement. Yeah, and also uh, Spectrum. Uh, yep. Mont yeah, that would be. Uh, uh, what's what's his name? It begins with Montgomery. Me. Yeah, Montgomery. But what's the one that has the other TV stations? Uh, it's uh, his name begins with M O N. Um, I don't Mike, I know that's uh, yeah, Mike who? Mike, he's up in Rochester. Yeah, no, I know who you're talking about. I can't remember his last name though. Uh, and uh, then he has. Uh, uh, tell him some of the other stations you have. I know you have Waterbury, Connecticut. Waterbury. Um, let's see, Bethlehem. Um, Bethlehem would be south of Albany. Chicago. Ooh, that's a very big one. That's on Google Chrome, isn't it? That is uh, Google Drive, actually. Oh, Google Drive. Uh huh. Um, and then they also uh, uh, Philly, Gordon, Vermont. Oh, that's a very big one. Philadelphia. Yep. Yeah, that's Philly Cam. And uh, a bunch of others. Yeah. I don't think you have Boston. I think that belongs to Gary Black up in Buffalo. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't do Boston. Yeah, right. Uh, Phil, I have good news. Mm -hmm. uh, a pastor in uh, Norwalk, Connecticut, is going to go on TV with us and read the Bible. Fantastic. And he's going to sign the uh, papers to be the sponsor. You've been working on that yeah, for a while. Yeah, I your message this morning, but didn't you say something else? He, that his church does something else? I guess so. And he's yep. going to start this morning at 11 o'clock. Yeah. He's going, to, he's going to be on your show? He's going to be on it, yes. I'm going to be That's on good. the video. And he's going to be on the audio, and then Phil mm -hmm. uh, is going to eventually 
Tell them what you're going to do, Phil. Uh, cooking stuff. Vegan cooking things, right? No, honey, about the video. Oh, we're going to upload the video. <laughs> yeah, he's got... We're also doing a cooking show, dear, a vegan show. We've started, that's a good idea. Yeah, we've started up two new things. That, that's a good... So, uh, Phil, tell them how you're going to hook up the video with the pastor reading the Bible. Mm -hmm. Um... We're going to try to use Zoom, was it? Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. And then that will capture the file for us so we don't have to transfer it from the camera. It's already on the computer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, uh, Good idea. we bought a new camcorder. It's a, a JVC Iverio, but it's a much fancier one than the we've ever had. It has a remote. That's it, nice. It has a remote. Mm -hmm. You've probably gone through a lot of those cameras at this point, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, take care, my dear Grady. Take care, Condora. And keep the courage flaming. And why did the inventor cross a microwave oven with a TV set? I don't know. You don't know? Phil knows. Tell him, Phil. I don't know. So he could watch <laughs> 60 minutes in a quarter of an hour. <laughs> Take care, Grady. Take care. And you are on TV. Everything was recorded, sweetheart. Perfect. Take care. Have the picture of the... The tender bits? Yep. Is that it? Uh-huh. Oh, we, okay. could, we could explain what Loma Linda is, what the brand is. It comes from uh, the city of Loma Linda, California, where the Seventh-day Adventists are based. That's right. That's where their university is. That's right, Phil. And they are vegetarian as a... Oh, are they ever? Are. They're mm -hmm. vegan. Vegan. Excellent. And I believe they... Loma Linda, isn't that the most... the healthiest city in the U.S. year after year? You know their hot dogs are vegan called... they're called Big Franks. A lot of their products are vegan. And these are vegan, honey, by the way. For, for a lot of people who've become vegan recently in the last couple of years when it's really become more popular, they, know, they don't know that we used to have to get our fake meat from a can. <laughs> yes, right. Mm -hmm. Well, so what you do, folks, is you take your tender bit and you roll them in the flavored Italian breadcrumbs and then you drop them into your boiling oil and you stay with her you stay right with it now and you do five of these at a time and watch them very very carefully oh and they come out the most delicious golden brown then you take those five out and you put them on a, a cloth to let them drain and then you put in five more and this will do about 30 fill mm -hmm. And you serve them with our kind of tartar sauce. Now, our tartar sauce would be vegan Hellman's mayonnaise and uh, pickle relish. Oh, boy, what a meal. Well, I think we did that one, dear. Would you tell them the ingredients, hon? Sure. Okay. For the tender bits... It contains water, wheat gluten, rice, flour, corn oil, oat flour, soy protein concentrate, and then a whole host of vitamins and things like onion powder and yeast. The broth is water, salt, soy protein, corn oil, and caramel color. So read those again, would you please? Mm -hmm. Water, wheat gluten, rice flour, corn oil, oat flour, soy protein concentrate, and then 2% or less of Torula yeast, onion powder, soy lecithin, and a bunch of vitamins and stabilizers. And then no. the broth is water, salt, soy protein, corn oil, and caramel color, which is what they put in Diet Coke. Now the question, Phil, is where do we find Loma Linda Worthington Foods? We'll have to look this up on the uh, internet. Mm -hmm. I used to get them, folks, from the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Every Seventh-day Adventist church in the strict past, I do not think they are as strict as they used to be, and I'm sorry about that. Yeah. 
they insisted that every Seventh-day Adventist church have a store in the back of the church. I used to go to those stores, and I could buy all kinds of, maybe 40 different uh, vegetarian vegan products. But they don't do that anymore. And they used to have a truck come up from uh, South Lancaster, Massachusetts, where they carry practically every Loma Linda uh, Worthington food product. And uh, also uh, cedar, cedar something. Hummus? Cedar Farms, was it, hon? Mm -hmm. Might be. Uh. Uh, and I used to buy, well, I used to spend $120 a month on vegan food. Do you know why? I had a vegan cat. <laughs> <laughs> and the vegan uh, people from uh, Gilderland would come over here and bring me all those products, frozen and canned. Well, I think we covered that subject. Do you, Phil, is there anything you should add? Um, I am glad that we have all these opportunities to try new vegan products, but it's always great when you can go back to something historical that will trigger some memories for the old-timey vegans. Did you say hysterical? Historical. We're oh. historical. <laughs> Although you've been a vegan a lot longer than I have. <laughs> It's nice yes. to see that these products are still around and we bring back some memories. And in the future, Phil, you will take us to the stores and show us close-ups of all of the products and tell us how much they are and tell us a little bit about the ingredients, right? That'll yeah. be in our future Phil, Eddie, vegan show? Yeah. All right. Uh, folks, what do you call a veterinarian who specializes in elephant skin disease, a pachydermatologist. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Grace and peace.